So, contrary to what is normal in the chapter's release, today, Thursday, the 24th of November, we have first not the, the chapter of One Piece, but the chapter of Boku no Hero Academy. That's right. It appears that this week, things are a little bit all over the place. First, it was Fairy Tale and the Seven Deadly Sins releasing in Saturday, Saturday night to be more, to be precise. And now we have not the One Piece chapter first, but as I said, the Boku no Hero Academy chapter. Fine by me, it's a way to change up things. But anyway, without further ado, welcome back to the channel guys. And let us begin with the live reaction of Boku no Hero Academy 117 of its name, uh, I don't know the name yet, I haven't seen it yet, I'll, if I see the name, I'll tell you the name, but it is, okay, so we, we are keeping with the last chapter's ending, when Bakugo called Midoriya to speak about something, he asked him to come outside later, I, I am, I'm not, happy with that. Bakugo has been quite stingy with Midoriya's quirk as of lately. I don't really know how to put this, but <laughs> we can see some students sleeping <laughs> Hida with a giant bubble. Oh god. Hida with a giant bubble of snot coming out of his nose. Okay. So they are apparently going far away from the from the campus. Oh Jesus. Okay. Okay, it's about your quirk. It's the title of the of the chapter. It it's something that always strike me as, as strange. Why why would Midoriya, when they were little, because they are showing here a flashback of them when they were little, why would why would Midoriya keep after Bakugo when he was so mean to him? I mean, it makes no sense to me. Bakugo would literally use his quirk on Midoriya. I guess he would. I believe he would. I believe he did, actually. So why would Midoriya just go always about after him i i i got i got to say i never understood that so okay so they are going back to the place where they trained when they when in, they were paired no they were not paired midoriya was paired with huraka and bakugo was paired with somebody else either was it? When they were fighting heroes versus villains, and Bakugo actually went straight ahead to fight against Midoriya. Okay. Yeah, so he's still concerned about that loss. Yeah, he's still sore about this. You were a quirkless, good for nothing, weak little something. But by some miracle, you got accepted to UA, and by an even bigger miracle, your quirk manifested out of thin air. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was all my all my quirk. You are an uncomprehensible bastard spewing nothing but uncomprehensible garbage. Whoa, slow down on the big words, eh, there, mate? Jesus. And ever since then, you've been wearing this self-satisfied face while growing more and more and more the whole goddamn time. Okay. Ever since that one time with the sludge bastard? Slud oh, yeah, the... He did, this was way back when Midoriya saved uh, Bakugo from that sludge guy. Sludge guy. He sacrificed himself to, to save. He, he was still quirkless back then, I, I wager. Yeah, yeah, he was still quirkless back then. Only after that did All Might decided to entrust Midoriya with, uh, with uh, One for All. 
Okay. And in the end, you even got your provisional license, and I fucking failed. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I got caught in reading that. I did not want to say that. Anyway, sorry about that. What the hell? What the hell's up with that? Jesus. But you know, with the whole incident in Camino, that's probably when All Might was revealed to the world and he was captured by the villains. I finally put the pieces together. What you borrowed, you finally made it a, your own. Okay, so he's getting to the truth. Yeah, he got to the truth. You got that power from All Might. Yeah. I mean, it took you a hundred and so chapters to realize that. Come on. Come on. They both had quirks that revolved around punching things with enhancing your muscles power. It can't be that hard to realize that, can it? I mean, sure, he might not, he, he could have not known the specifics of the power transfer, but I mean, I guess it would be breathing god darn it simple to see, okay, so this guy was quirkless, all of a sudden he appears with a quirk that's based on punching things, All Might seems to be very fond of him, All Might's quirk revolves around punching things, maybe, I guess Bakugo is just a little bit slow on the dots, because yes, it took you a hundred chapters, it took you a hundred chapters to realize that, Okay, the boss of all the villains, the bastard, from what I could tell, with just a snap of his fingers, he could snatch away people's quirks and bestow them to others. I couldn't believe it, but lo and behold, one of the pussycats was forced to retire due to the disappearance of their quirk. And not to mention, those no umo thingies held multiple quirks. Thinking about all that, the credibility of my theory seems pretty damn high. Yeah, you're not wrong, I'll give you that. And all, all Might and that boss asshole were acquaintances. The transfer of quirks in reality that can only mean All Might is somehow connected to that bastard. That's related to what you said about your quirk being entrusted to you by someone else. Yes, he's not wrong. He's making pretty good assumptions for a guy that took a hundred chapters to realize this. But anyway, because as we know, all for one is the ability to take quirks for from everyone to oneself, one for all is the, well, it's not really the ability to transfer the quirk, it's a transferable quirk, but it means a power to protect a lot of people. It's a power made to protect, whereas all for one is a power made, made to take powers and to give to oneself. So yeah, this is the point where you should have realized that after you met All Might, you began to change and All Might lost his powers. It took him a hundred chapters to realize that. How slow can you be? For a guy that makes explosions out of his hands, you are pretty gosh darn slow. Okay. You interpreted that statement differently from everyone else. All Might wouldn't give me a straight answer, that's why I'm asking you now. <coughs> okay. Yeah, there's no point in denying it. If you hear the truth, how is that going to help you? Well, yeah, really, what? It makes no difference, really, because... It, I think it's about time for people to know that where Midoriya's powers come from. Especially, I would... I would... I would say that it's important not really for the world, but for the hero community, at least some of the top heroes, some of the top regulators of hero society, and the students of Midoriya's class, I believe it would be important for them to actually realize why All Might had to step down. Because I believe the few people who know are of the hero society 
and non-hero society. From the non-hero society, we know that the police guy, who's a friend of all Mike knows, uh, we have the principal of UA, the little mouse guy, which I am still trying to understand why he's the little mouse guy. Maybe that will be explained in the future. Um, I believe Eraser also knows. I don't think Endeavor knows. No, I don't think Endeavor knows. Let me turn on the light. Eh, it helps a little bit. Um, so yeah, I believe it would be important for at least the higher-ups of Hero Society, and especially Midoriya's class, it would be good for them to know where really the power look, the power came from. So, you and me both, we've always looked up to All Might and aspired to be like him. The guy who I always thought was just a damn pebble on the side of the road before I knew it, he was acknowledged by the person I looked up the most. Yeah, he's just envious. And that's why you're going to fight me right here, right now. Okay. I see where this is going. I see where this is going. This is, this is a classic tale of two rivals that... One was considered the most powerful, and then there's another who's weaker. But then all of a sudden, the weaker becomes the most powerful and respected and loved one. And the most powerful in terms of power just begins to like, okay, the guy is stealing my spotlight. I can't have any of that. I believe this, is, this will be the turning point for Bakugo. Ever since the beginning, I never lied to this about, uh, I never lied about this to anyone. Uh, people who know me and know I read Boku no Hero Academy. Actually, I don't know a lot of people who read Boku no Hero Academy, so yes. My girlfriend does, and I don't really know anyone else. <laughs> but I said to you guys that I've always seen Bakugo as a villain in training. I never thought, with Bakugo's destructive quirk, I always imagined him as a villain more than anything. So it's no lie that I personally, I personally believe that Bakugo will turn into a villain sooner or later. And I believe this will be that turning point. The fact that he's challenging Midoriya right now to a fight makes me think that they will either be interrupted by a razor or that their fight will cause such a destruction that... Bakugo might just step aside or the villains will interfere and take Bakugo back again. And this time around, he will go willingly. So, yeah. Wait a minute, why did, why did it come to this all of a sudden? This is a really bad idea. There's no good reason why we have to fight now, is there? Yeah, if we try to fight seriously, they'll just stop us. I want to confirm exactly what's so great about you that All Might himself would go that far for, for you. He's just jealous. Jealous. You can see it in his face. He doesn't believe that Midoriya has what it takes to hold the one for all. So, it's just jealous. Okay, this is, this is the point. If your aspiration was so much greater than mine, then does that mean my aspirations were wrong the whole time? This is it. This is it right here. He's starting to question his aspirations to become a hero. He is. Because he's thinking, if a quirkless guy became so much more powerful than me, so much a better hero than me. Am I really cut out to this whole hero business? Am I really cut out to do this? It's not like self... It's not like putting himself down. It's just doubting. It's not putting him beneath Midoriya. Not yet. But it's just doubting. Am I really good at this kind of hero stuff? Or could I be better at anything else? So, yeah, no matter how big of a pinch he's in, he'll always win in the end. No matter how much trouble someone's in, he'll always save them with a smile. If you don't want to get hurt, 
then put up your fists. Oh, that's right, you're going with kick with kicks now. Come on, seriously, seriously, you can't we can't do this. And he doesn't care. He's right. Okay, so Midori is analyzing the battle. <clears throat> you always read too much into every damn thing, you know. <laughs> No, oh, it's already, it's already over. Oh, really? With their feelings bursting forth, they clash, and we see All Might probably watching the whole thing. But it's already over. Sixteen pages, really? Oh, that sucks. I was expecting something more. Okay, so apparently next week we're gonna have. Bakugo versus Midoriya, Kachin versus Deku. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be really, really fun. And apparently, All Might is watching the whole thing. So, he won't be able to stop anything. If anything, he'll end up getting hurt. By either both of them, or just Bakugo, or just Midoriya. But I think he'll end up getting hurt. And it's that, it's that fact, it's All Might getting hurt, that will be the turning point for their battle. For Bakugo defecting the hero's side. Because I, I, I just not gonna drop until it's permanently stated that Bakugo is not a villain, which is to say that if until the end of the series Bakugo doesn't become a villain, then of course I'll stop believing that he would become a villain. But until such point, until the other comes and says, Bakugo will never be a villain, then, okay, I'll brush it off to the side. But until then, I'm going to keep believing he will turn up to be a villain someday. This was really a pretty straightforward chapter. A very, I mean, I say small, but... Normally the chapters only have like 21, 22-ish pages. So 16 pages is really not much re what we are used to. Anyway, but still, I believe they managed to tell... <coughs> sorry. I meant they managed to tell the story they wanted to tell with just these few pages. So that's fine by me. The chapter was good. And really, it's setting up some... Pretty, some pretty dark times for the heroes in the future. So, yes, I believe that's it for me for now. I The video is it's not that short. Uh, good, good. So, that was it for my Hero Academy. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, I really don't have a lot to say. I believe I said everything during the... I'm sorry, I just a little bit shocked that's it because i'm not used to my theories come come correct i, I mean my theories have not come correct I, I mean bakugo has not yet become a villain but i say we're pretty damn close to that so i'm not used to this feeling to my theories becoming correct this it's a good feeling when, when you when you see when you read something and you and you go like god i said that and that's coming, I mean, probably most people said that, because Bakugo doesn't fool anyone, but it's still a good feeling, let me feel it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you later today with the One Piece live reaction. I hope that chapter is as good as the last has been, because One Piece is really, really going into a rabbit hole. Quite literally, if we take, if we take the inspirations from Lewis Carroll's words that Oda has been using in Totland's arc. So, I'll see you guys in a little while with the One Piece video. Bye-bye.